Democrats are also working to get voters to the polls tomorrow. Our Cameron Thompson is live outside a campaign event for Terry McAuliffe. Cam? Yeah, and Bill Candace, Democrats on, Democrats on the ticket today really urging people to get out the vote, including their friends and family when the polls open tomorrow, saying that the work that Democrats have done over almost the last decade here in the Commonwealth is what's on the ballot. I get down here, but folks, here we are. We're at the end zone. Are you ready to take that ball over the line? In front of over 200 people, the Democratic ticket, spearheaded by former Governor Terry McAuliffe, charge up supporters in their final Richmond stop before Election Day. So tomorrow, let's get out the vote. Are you ready? Are you ready, Virginia? With McAuliffe expressing confidence in the turnout in early voting. You know, we could hit three million. I, I think we will have the largest non-presidential turnout ever. During and after the rally, Democrats driving home the message to potential voters that what is at stake is progress that their party has made stretching back eight years oh God, to when uh, McAuliffe had his first term as governor. We got to keep it going. We cannot go back uh, and all the great progress we've made on individual liberties, protecting women's rights, all the other issues, they're all on the playing field. McAuliffe and others also attacking the proposed policies of a Glenn Youngkin administration and trying to tie him to former President Donald Trump, who was supposed to take part in a teller rally Monday night for Youngkin. Donald Trump issued two statements attacking me and endorsing Glenn Youngkin. Today, too. What does that tell you? The little MAGA people, a little uh, not as excited as you thought. Isada Ture was among those out showing support and says while she's concerned about the tight polls between the two, speaks to what she thinks will win the day. I think his message of education and also the social part of the, his uh, campaign. And with less than 12 hours until the polls close, McAuliffe says they're focused on getting out the vote. We're just trying to get all the votes out, make sure everybody understands how important this election truly is. Now, the Democratic ticket heading to Northern Virginia for one final rally tonight that's being touted as one to denounce the teller rally that former President Trump is taking in. And then once the polls close tomorrow, they will be having a watch party in Northern Virginia as well.